Hey guys, Drew here. Welcome back to another video here at Z-Code System. It's great to have you back here on our YouTube channel for the latest video. And today we're going to talk about the Premier League once more. Match day three kicking off on Saturday. It's going to run Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with some big fixtures. Two really big fixtures. And those two games I'm going to talk about today are coming at you this weekend. And both games will most likely have an impact on the Premier League title this season. Now, I hope you're enjoying your Premier League action this week or uh, this season. Uh, we've had two match days, two fantastic uh, match days so far. And there have been a lot of betting opportunities, a few upsets uh, going uh, the way of the underdogs as well so far. So we hope that you're having a good time. And if this is your first time to come to the Z Code System channel here on YouTube, please give us a like and subscribe. And if you're coming back, please like this video and let us know what you think on the comments below. Now, we're going to take a look at just two games this week, and you can always go over to the blog and you can read up about the different picks that we have there uh, for the Premier League or for baseball, basketball, uh, NFL, whatever it is that you're following. You can get the great picks that we post there on the blog, or you can sign up to the VIP and go and check out the picks on the VIP wall, or you can go over and check out our picks uh, through the different tools that we have, whether it be the playoff simulators, or you can go to use um, one of my favorite tools, the Soccer Buddy tool, which we used last week here to make our predictions and our picks for the Premier League. So check that out. You can go back to last week's video and you can look at those because this week I'm going to use the VIP wall, um, at least for this first pick uh, that I'm going to give you when we look at these games. Now, again, like I said, you can go over to the website and as I scroll down there, you can see that we have the week three NFL picks right there for you. Those have just gone up recently. Uh, yesterday, I guess so. Uh, those went up there and a huge game with Kansas City taking on Baltimore. And of course, you can see right there my match day three picks for the Premier League for the 27th and the 28th. Now, we're going to be talking specifically about two games right here. Uh, one of those games is going to be a game on Sunday, and that is Leicester City taking on Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. And uh, the other game that we're going to be taking a look at is Liverpool taking on Arsenal. And that game is going to take place on Monday night and it's going to be at Anfield uh, on Merseyside. So it's going to be a very big weekend. As we all know, uh, Manchester City and Liverpool are the two teams that everybody's picking to fight it out for the title. Uh, and in our latest uh, blog there, I put together the uh, latest odds from Bet365. That's just the betting uh, website that I use. You can use your own. Other websites do uh, are available. So go and use your favorite betting sports book. Uh, but I use those to give you an idea of just what the sports books think after the first two weeks of the Premier League, of the Premier League that is. And Manchester City are currently still leading in odds uh, with Liverpool just trailing. Now, this weekend could have a big impact on that and some points could be dropped. Now, before we go on to look at our picks, I just want to take a look, uh, show you the games, the fixture list coming up this weekend in the Premier League. And as you can see here, I've got uh, a website that I've talked about previously. Uh, ignore those ads. <laughs> a website I've uh, used previously here, and that is the Understat website, which is a lovely website uh, that gives us a, a great idea of what's coming up, what's going on and some different uh, in-depth stats, such as expected goals and expected points. And you can see which teams are overachieving and which teams are underachieving. So as you can see there, we've got, uh, well, eight games coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Um, some big ones going on there. Really those Sundays when it really picks up and we can see that we have that Manchester City and Leicester City game. And then of course on Monday night, we'll have Liverpool and Arsenal. So uh, if I just scroll down real quickly, give you a look at the Premier League table, courtesy of Understat, you can see that Leicester City are on top, courtesy of goal difference. Uh, Everton, Arsenal, Liverpool, right behind them. City, they've played one fewer games than a lot of these other teams uh, that are just above them. But as I've said before, you can see these lovely uh, in-depth stats there of expected goals and expected points. And you can see the teams which are uh, overachieving, getting more points than perhaps they should. Uh, or getting more goals than they should. 
going on or which teams are right on the money or underachieving. So uh, definitely something to take a look at and to uh, study. Now, I'm going to take a look now, take you over to the VIP wall here at Z Code System to get a look at our games and to preview them. Now, of course, as I said before, we've got Liverpool and Arsenal coming up this weekend at Anfield, both teams burning red hot. And if you've been following the season and you've been following along on Z here on Z Code System, you'll know that these teams did already play once this season. They played in August in the FA Community Shield, which is the season's curtain raiser in the UK, in England, uh, when for, uh, excuse me, is the curtain raiser in, the, uh, in England uh, that pits the FA Cup winner of last season against the winner of the Premier League. And that game ended 1-1, goals coming in both halves, uh, and then in going to penalties with Arsenal picking up the win five to four. So these two teams do have previous this season. Um, but I would say that when these two teams played, we saw some of the best bits of Arsenal and maybe not some of the best bits from Liverpool. Now, both teams have started off the Premier League season very well. Liverpool picked up a 4-3 win against Leeds at home to start the season. That was a bit of a barn burner. Leeds just never going away in that game and uh, Liverpool getting a penalty late on to get the win. Their second game last weekend, they went to Chelsea to play, uh, to play Chelsea at Sanford Bridge, and uh, a lot of people really backing Chelsea this season because of all the money they spent, over £200 million pounds they've spent on players, and to say that the players that they spent money on in the transfer window uh, failed to live up to expectations against Liverpool would be an understatement. Liverpool dominated that game, winning 2-0, and uh, going on to... Uh, with that game also thanks to a penalty save from Alison Becker. And Chelsea just not really up playing up to par that game. Uh, Sadio Mane picking up two goals. Uh, Liverpool do play on Thursday night. That's tonight. They're playing in the Carabao Cup against Lincoln City, lower league competition. I don't expect Liverpool to have any problems putting away Lincoln City and expect Jurgen Klopp to completely change all 11 of his players. Uh, all 11 players that start on Thursday night will not start on Monday night but there's still a large enough gap between the days uh, if he does to get players rested. But again, there's this squad is big enough. They made two huge signings last week in Thiago Alcantara, who came from Bayern Munich, as well as Diago Jota, who came from Wolverhampton Wanderers. And they've really improved that squad, spending a lot of money, actually not even spending that much money compared to teams like Chelsea or uh, Manchester City. They've really not spent that much money to get the squad improved. Uh, it is expected that some players will leave before the transfer window ends on October 5. Now, Arsenal have also made some upgrades to the team this season. Most importantly, they re-signed Pierre Emer Kavamiang to a new contract, and he's in fine form. Now, as you can see there, Arsenal have picked up a couple of wins. They are burning red hot. Uh, they defeated West Ham 2-0 to uh, kickstart the season, or sorry, uh, in match day two of the season, and they defeated Fulham 3-0 uh, to start the campaign on opening day. Now, you can also see there that they did beat uh, Leicester City 2-0. That game came yesterday in the Carabao Cup. Uh, Arsenal going through without any issue. Um, manager Mikel Atreta did play a uh, side with a mix of fringe players, backups, and uh, his usual starting 11. Um, again, Arsenal should have no issues with fitness going into this game. They'll have an extra day off compared to Liverpool, uh, when they kick off on Monday. Now, the big question is how will or who will win this game, I should say, uh, who will win this game. And let's just take a quick look at the head-to-head, -head, if that will come up there. And as you can see there, Arsenal did pick up that win, uh, or picked up a win in July last year. Again, remember the season restarted in June, so the teams played in June and July. Uh, Arsenal did pick up a win. It was a very uh, uncharacteristic game for Liverpool in that one, um, losing to Arsenal 2-1. But then you can also see that the home team has won the last four games there. Liverpool uh, and Arsenal played uh, what it was, it was three times last year uh, in league and cup matches. Liverpool winning 3-1 at home early in the season before winning 6-5 um, in a thriller uh, actually, that was on a, on penalties, actually, in the Carabao Cup. They won that game uh, in October. And then Arsenal winning 2-1 uh, when the season restarted in July. But we can also see there that even before those games, the home team picking up draws. Now, I love Liverpool in this game. I think that they are, um, you know, the team to beat. I know a lot of sports books 
have Manchester City as the favorite to win the league this year. Um, I actually thought Man City would win the league this season, but after watching Liverpool pick up those two big signings last week, I'm putting my weight now behind Liverpool to go back and win the league again. It's going to be very difficult, though, of course, to win a second straight title, especially when it was so uh, long between Liverpool's title last season and the one before that, 30 years. So can they win a second straight title? Yes, absolutely they can. Uh, they just have to remain consistent. And uh, I mean, obviously Manchester City do too. Uh, we knew we know consistency wasn't something that they were able to do last season, especially in defense. But I'm backing Liverpool in this game. I like that 2-1 scoreline. Liverpool did win 2-0 last weekend. Chelsea, again, had a chance to make that a 2-1 game. But uh, Alison Becker saved Jorginho's penalty uh, in the second half. So I'm going Liverpool in this game. I, if you uh, have been watching, Mohamed Salah scored a hat trick on the opening day. Sadio Mane scored two goals last weekend. So will one of these two strikers get a goal this weekend for Liverpool? It's a good possibility that one of them will. So I'm going Liverpool in this game. Now, let's get one more game in this week. And we're going to take a look at a game actually on Sunday. We're going to go back in time. And we're going to take a look at that game between Manchester City and Leicester City. Okay, so a little change of pace here. So I've brought up now the Soccer Buddy tool. So you're going to get to look at a little bit more uh, in-depth information here from Z-Code System uh, going at these games. And you'll get to see actually most of the games on Sunday here. So get on that. Now we're going to talk about Manchester City and Leicester City specifically. So I brought up the Soccer Buddy tool. And as you can see, the drop down box there with the leagues. And we can see the uh, predictions for various uh, items in this game, whether it be over under goals, both teams to score, etc., and so forth. So you can have a scroll down, and we're going to specifically look there at the bottom right here as we look at Manchester City and Leicester City playing at the Itahad Stadium on Sunday. Now they're giving us a scoreline prediction from Zico system of 2 1. That's a pretty good scoreline prediction. I like that. Uh, Leicester City did pick up back-to-back -back wins to start the season. Manchester City, like I said earlier, have only played once this season. That was a win against Wolverhampton Wanderers last weekend. And that was a 3-1 victory. Um, Leicester City, this they're reminding me a lot of last season. They started the season so well uh, under Brendan Rodgers. They were scoring goals. They were winning games. And all of a sudden, everybody was believing they would win the Premier League title. Got to December, and suddenly the wheels came off. They were absolutely out of petrol. And things went downhill from there. They lost um, a lot of games in the second half of the season. Um, I'm off the top of my head. I can't remember what the actual total was, but I want to say that they went uh, winless in 14 of their last 22 games. Forgive me if I'm a bit wrong on that one, but it's something around that stat. So Leicester City, again, they're starting very strongly, but I'm expecting them to tail off later on. This is a big game for them. They showed last season that they weren't able to hang with a team like Manchester City over the course of playing two games, as well as playing against Liverpool over the course of two games. And Leicester City really crashed and burned late during that restart. Um, they ended up missing out on the Champions League football on the last day of the season, losing a big must-win game against Manchester United, in which they really didn't show up. Um, they've got some fitness issues in defense. That's a huge deal. Um, they've had to shoehorn central midfielder uh, Wilfred Ndidi into the center, uh, the center, into center back um, to play alongside Calgar Soyuncu. Uh, so this is a team that could be exploited in the back. Um, they do have some good players going forward, but again, Manchester City have the ability to really exploit them. And if Manchester City do win this game, they win it by a hefty scoreline. I really think people will start to be uh, again down on Leicester City um, after being quite. Uh, worthy of uh, full of praise for them um, after the first couple of games. Now, like Manchester City in this game, that 2-1 scoreline looks really good, um, just like it did uh, for Liverpool and Arsenal. And I think this game will be pretty close um, for the most part. Uh, Rodgers does have his team take on Manchester City early in the season, so they've got a lot of that uh, confidence right now uh, boiling over. City really weren't troubled by Wolverhampton Wanderers last weekend. I think Leicester City will trouble them a little bit more and keep this game close. But in the end, I still think that Manchester City are going to pick up the win, the three points, and keep pace with Liverpool or Arsenal uh, and those other teams at the top. This is going to be a very strange season. I think a lot of teams are very uh, even, and I think coronavirus and all the uh, issues that that is giving us uh, is going to ensure that the teams are very close in the competition, at least for much of the season. So I'm going Manchester City on this game. 
and um, I think they're going to pick up the victory. So guys, thank you for watching today's video here on Z Code System and YouTube. Please, if you're scrolling through for the first time, give us a like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy these picks that we gave you. Go over and sign up to the VIP club today uh, to get even more great tools for all your sports betting. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't um, to stay up to date on everything we do here. So guys, thanks for watching today on Z Code Systems channel here on YouTube. I'm Drew and it was great being with you. We'll see you next time.